Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColeen.com. Okay, so I have had a gut feeling for quite a while now. I've been, I've been quiet about it for a while. I've had this gut feeling that something is going to shift, something is going to change. Um, before I get into that, let me talk about something before that. So right now, um, the Earth is getting pretty much blasted. It's not, it's not bad, though. We're getting a lot of, um, I think they're called sun flares, and there might be another word for it. But the one we're getting blasted with, and it's going to hit us at the end of the day today, the 5th, or more likely it's probably going to hit us on the 6th tomorrow. So today's Saturday, October 5th at 11 a.m. So we've actually been getting blasted for quite a while now, off and on, and for the last few days. Tomorrow, it's going to increase in intensity. The blast that the sun just sent out, I don't know how many hours ago, it's going to hit us in about, again, later today, I don't know, evening, midnight, something like that, but for sure tomorrow. So what do these blasts do? It increases the... You can say photons or electrons. It increases the energy in the atmosphere, like physically in the atmosphere. Okay, I'm not get, not going to get too scientific on you, because that's not really what I do. I get a gut feeling. I get an image. I get a vision. Something just hits me. So with this, what's going to happen tomorrow is it's going to put energy into people. So people that are angry, people that are aggressive, people that are mad, they're going to they're going to be that's going to be getting energized. If you're sad, it's going to energize that. So people on the roads might be a bit chaotic. They might be driving fast, unsafe, you know. So I personally, I'm going to kind of watch the energy tomorrow. And if it is like that, I'm just going to stay home. I'm not going to be driving. So I get these gut feelings that there's an energy coming. And it's going to cause people just to kind of be wackadoodle. They're going to be angry. They're going to be up. They're going to be down. They're going to, they're going to get mad at the dumbest things. They're going to be... <laughs> everything it's going to be all over the place so the energy is going to be increased so now okay and that may last a couple days i don't think it's just going to be just one day i think it's going to be a couple days okay there is a great youtube guy which i talked about that i just found and if i can find him i'll put the link of his video that explains the solar blast we've been getting recently and the ones we're getting like right now Now that's really not what this video is about. I've had a bigger feeling that something big is going to happen. There is going to be a shift or a massive change. A lot of been talking about a lot of sorry, a lot of people, different people in the spirit world or energy healing or um, you know things like that. A lot of people have been talking about there's going to be a flash. Now I've been hearing this for a long time. Like, ah, you know, whatever. So my thing is, I don't really want to read it in a book. I don't want to be told. I don't want to watch a video on it. I want to, everything that I do has to be from me. Now, I don't mean that, how do I explain that? Like, oh, I'm the one who figured it out. No, that's not what I mean. I have this real, um, this really strong thing. Like, does it really work? Is this really real? And I have to know it through me. If I don't know it through me, it's like, well, you know, I don't know. So... I will verify things later by watching other scientific things going, oh, okay, that matches up with exactly what the feelings and the images that I have in my mind that come to me. So I have had this gut feeling there's going to be a big shift in the universe that's going to affect us on the planet, and I think I know what it is. And I also think I know how it's going to affect us. So there has been quite a bit of news in the last, I'm going to guess it's been around three months or maybe a little bit more, um, on YouTube especially. There is going to be a, so, how to explain this, it's going to be a star that's going to explode and the star is Betelgeuse. And that is the right shoulder of the Orion uh, constellation. So if you look at it, you got the three stars for the belt, you look up and look at the two so sorry, shoulders. It's going to be the one if you're facing it on the left. So it'll be its right shoulder if it's facing us. So they've been talking about how that thing is about to implode and or explode for quite a while now. And so 
one of the things I said, like, well, how, how can they possibly know? Like, well, I, I do know a little bit about it. Like, before a star does this, it will expand, the light will change, etc. So it's like, yeah, okay. So they're saying they really believe it's going to happen in the next two weeks. They thought it was going to happen in August, but they think it's going to happen really soon. Essentially what it's going to do is it's either going to turn into a neutrino star or it's going to turn into a black hole. And yes, that's going to be in our galaxy. Now, luckily for us, it's something like, now I don't, I, I heard it, but I don't remember the number. It'll be in the video. I believe it's going to be 640 million light years away. Essentially, it shouldn't really affect us other than our electronics and stuff like that. It may be glitchy. So I do believe that the, and I, can't, I just lost the word for, I want to say photon particles, but whatever. Certain particles of it, I do believe, will reach the Earth and it's gonna, it will have an effect on people emotionally. Now the immense energy is go going to be compared to, how do I say this? Sorry, so the energy released is going to be equivalent to, I think it was 10 times more than our own sun's that the amount of energy our sun has released in its entire lifetime. And this amount of energy is going to be released in a matter of seconds. So as I said in the video, it would be compared to a, a, a campfire to a nuclear bomb. That's the difference in intensity compared to our sun. Now, you got to understand, this is way more than that. That's just to you know, <laughs> try to give you a comparison. So this is going to be like way more than the sun's ever released. So it's going to happen fast. And I believe this is the flash that a lot, a lot of people have been prophesying. There's going to be just like this flash of light that hits the earth, that goes through the universe, or goes through our galaxy, etc. I believe that's what this is going to be. Now they do say in the video that it could be two weeks, two months, or it could be years. But, they, but for some reason, they've been guessing it's going to happen this fall. And they've been saying this for about six months, or, th or three or four, five, six months. So the shift that I've been feeling is, I, I, I think there is going to be a radical shift in people waking up. And I think we're getting really, really close. Now, we're waking up. Now, the, you guys that are on my channel, it's been kind of a slow, well, it's been a slow process, but not as slow as other people. You guys are ahead of the pack. But I think the pack is going to wake up and I think it's going to scare the living shit out of them. It's going to freak them out. They're going to be like, wait, what? So even though a lot of you guys aren't trained in healing arts such as NLP, hypnosis, energy healing, Reiki, Huna, pranic healing or whatever, I do believe you were sent to be awakened before the masses because it's going to it's going to need as many people as possible to lead the way. Now, I said this in, in, in a video in the past probably two weeks ago is like you know you guys are going to be the leaders of this new group that's coming up so you're going to teach them what it is about narcissist abuse about the light and darkness and everything you've heard on my channels and other channels you have been getting prepared for this see if the majority or average person wakes up to what you've woken up to and what you've been through for the last three four five years or whatever the dark night of the soul going through that unbelievable isolation phase the 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 evil dark narcissistic you know attacks you know people are gonna freak out because in their world oh that's not real that's not really spent their entire lives oh that's not real i don't want to hear it i don't hear it and it's going to become so blatant so obvious so in their face it's going to terrify them that this is actually real and the greatest comfort is going to be actually talking to someone who's not just saying, oh, I read a book about this. Yeah, I got my college degree in this. I'm a psychologist. No, the comfort is going to be, oh, you've been through this. And they're going to know by the energy that's coming through your voice. For example, I've worked with quite a few people over the last four years after starting to make my YouTube videos. And one of the greatest things that the greatest feelings for me was when someone talked to me, they're like, you've really been through this. I'm like, yeah, I have. It comforts people to know that you have lived it, not just read about it. I'll give you one example. And it was about a year ago, I'm going to guess now, nine months, a year ago. 
There was a guy that called me and he was getting harassed, gang stalked really bad. And they were leaving like yellow cards on us, you know, because they were using yellow as a thing. And, and all these people are going to his Instagram. Instead of having their picture there, it would be like a yellow thing they put in there. And so it would it makes you paranoid. And I said, oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And he goes, oh, and they, they, and I go, what else they do? He goes, they, they come to my house at night and they'll 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 tape stuff to my door with a yellow card or they'll put it in my lawn or they'll do this or they'll do that. I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah. So then my automatic thought is, God, I wish you lived like 30 minutes away or an hour away. He goes, why? I go, honestly, I would let you go to sleep and I would hang out in your yard behind a bush or something around the corner and I would wait for one of them fuckers, excuse my language, one of those people to come up on your property and I would literally tackle them and then have them arrested. And then he goes, wait a minute, do you believe me? No, he goes, so you believe me? I'm like, yeah, I believe you. No, I was kind of almost like, wait, what are you talking about? Like, I'm like, oh, that's right. Because everyone I tried to explain this to, the gang stalking, getting harassed, all the stuff that narcissists do, like people looked at me like, oh, okay, man, yeah, you're a little out there, bro. <laughs> believe it or not, but the, the, peop the first people that believed me were two police officers that I talked to about this. And it was only because they they had dealt with this before. And they're like, oh yeah, this definitely goes on, and we've experienced it, we've had to deal with it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But a, a new police officer on the force, probably a year old, or not a year old, but a year on the force list, they probably wouldn't have came across this yet. So the point being is, if people haven't experienced it, they're just kind of kind of give you that that glossy, crazy look, like, oh yeah, you're a little bit loopy there, bro. Well, you know, you're okay. But I think the difference this time is everybody, <laughs> maybe not everybody, but the majority of the masses are going to be like, what the hell? Like, like, is this real? Like, yeah, it's real. And so the greatest comfort is going to be other people that have already gone through it. And that's you. For those of you who have been listening to narcissist abuse videos for the last year, two, three, four years, it's not just that, but it's it's for those of you who have actually gone through it, you are going to be the greatest strength for these people. You're going to know what to say to them. You're going to know how to lead them through. Trust me, you are very well adept at this. So buckle up because shit's about to get real. I really, really do believe it's going to get a bit crazy. So if you think it's been crazy the last two and a half, no, not two and a half, more like three to five years, it's going to get a little bit crazier. I'm serious. Okay, so I'm actually going to the Golden Gate Bridge right now. It is a beautiful Saturday. I'm going to ride my bike there. I'm probably going to ride into the city again today. So when I come back to finish this video, it'll be, oh, it'll be after I get back. So one thing I want to say before I go is the feeling that I have in my body is something is going to happen between now and I want to say f four to six weeks out. I do believe something radical, something's going to shift. Now, I don't know if this thing's going to go off, is going to explode in the next four to six weeks. They're guessing that it will. Now, here's the, okay, here's one more thing I want to say. The scientist, um, what is his name? I'm going to give you the name of the video in case I don't leave it in there. So it's Michio Kaku. Uh, Beetlejuice will explode in two weeks. We can't do anything. Um, I'm going to respond to that in a second. But Beetlejuice is, is actually spelled B-E-T-E-L-G-E-U-S-E. -E -E. So, Mikhail Kaku, Beetlejuice. So, just do Beetlejuice will explode in two weeks. We can't do anything. Well, I don't really think we need to do anything. And number one, we can't do anything. Number two, it's so far away. Do I think it, it could have an effect on us? Because it's going to destroy any stars or planets that are around it and and it's going to be a massive blast that it's going to be like larger than our, our solar system so by affecting the stars and the planets that are far out from it that could affect us because when stars shift in our own solar solar system st not stars sorry moons on planets etc it affects the tidal waves it affects our emotions on this planet here so I still think it's going to be too far away to really affect it other than our emotions and what it's supposed to do I really believe it's supposed to wake us up so this image that we're looking at right now is what's called a neutrino star it's when a star explodes and or implodes 
So it either turns into a black hole or if it isn't quite that powerful, it'll turn into a neutrino star. Now in the video, I'm going to link in here. It'll explain the power of this. And I think it is, it's, I, gotta, I can't remember this. I think it's like the size of the earth or the size of the moon. But it's the condensed energy is, I forget what it is. It was as phenomenal, like 50 times our sun for 100 times. But it's condensed down into this much smaller version of what it was. So all I do is I look at energy. I sense and or feel energy. So I don't really care about the absolute perfection scientific words. That's not that I don't care about that. I just need to know what's going on. And I get a feeling of, oh, this energy is going to affect us in this way or that way. So my feeling is this is going to be a really good thing. This is going to be a really cool thing. Now, it may affect people in a very intense way. It may scare people. It may cause people to go chaotic for a little while. But overall, the overall, what's the word? Not lesson. The overall shift and change is going to be a really good thing. To me, it's going to be the final completion of going into the age of Aquarius. It's like we're finally through this funnel where it's opening and we're entering it. But it's like now we've shifted from the age of Pisces, that dark energy, into the light. And if this is what I think is going to happen, that light is going to freak out a lot of narcissists. The demons inside them, the demon entities, etc. It is going to, they're going to lose their, you know what. Okay, so just so you know where to look for it, uh, the next image is coming up. Hold on one second. Okay, so Beetlejuice is, if this is the, uh, I just forgot the word, this is Orion, essentially. This is the belt of Orion, and where the arrow is, is the shoulder, and that's the star Beetlejuice. Sorry, the constellation. So the one thing about Beetlejuice that I have noticed is it has dimmed. And that's what stars will do just before they explode and or implode. They kind of concentrate and contract and then boom, that causes an explosion. And this is why they're saying, hey, we think this is going to happen any day. And any day in terms of the universe and stars, that could be months to, to two years or more. I'm hoping it is literally going to happen in two weeks to two months maximum. They at first were saying, oh, you'll be able to see it with binoculars, right? Regular binoculars. Now they're saying it's going to be so bright that we're going to be able to see it during the day, during the sun. Now, I don't know if that's true. That would be pretty freaking incredible. But if we can see it with the naked eye during the nighttime, I would be more than thrilled. All right, I'm heading out. I'll be back in a little bit. By the way, the name of this song is called Stars in Her Skies. I thought it was kind of appropriate. And Scott Buckley at scottbuckley.com is the creator. I right, one, one more thing I want to say. Ever since I was a little, 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 little kid, I mean two, three years old, I would just stare at the stars. And I do remember one, someone in my family, one of my dad, he said, see that right there? That's the Big Dipper. And he pointed out like the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, and just a couple little things. But the stars have always fascinated me. I mean, I go for walks almost every night. Every night for 45 plus years now, maybe even 50 years now. And I'm, I'm just staring at the sky as I'm walking. Or I'll lay down in the grass at the park. And I'll just stare at the, star, the skies for 20, 30 minutes or more. I've always been like that. So I realize what I'm trying to say is that I've been really paying attention to what affects what and over by pay okay how do i say this for some reason there's traits in me that i just do i don't know why ever since i was a little kid i was fascinated by the stars fascinated by the placement of the moon you know all even the seasons like when when the certain constellations were in certain positions in the sky i noticed how it affected people i noticed how okay here's one take the moon I, it became really obvious to me, the f three, four, and five days leading up to the full moon, people became more, what's the word I'm looking for? More animated, more energized, more, like there would be more fights, there would be more problems, there would be more happiness, there would just be more. And it wasn't until I talked to a police officer one day, I said, hey, you know, do you guys give any credence to the full moon at all? He's like, oh yeah. He goes, we, I think he said, 
I don't think he said they doubled the the police officers on, on the the day before and the full moon, but they increased it by a third or something. Like they increased the amount of police officers that are on duty. And he said, whether it's the moon or not, maybe it's just a psychological thing, but people tend to go wacko when we when you get get closer to the full moon. So I was in the emergency room one day. And it was kind of chaotic. It was really busy, and it was it was kind of it was nighttime since like ten o'clock or eleven o'clock at night or something. And I was like, wow. And, and this doctor's like, God, it's just so nutty today. Blah blah blah. And I, and I purposely said, because okay, he's noticing things are chaotic, and he's like, God, what is going on? And I said, Well, you do know it's the full moon tonight. He goes, Yeah. And so I said, Is there any credence to that at all? He goes, Honestly, he goes, We increase the staff. Uh, the, when it comes to the full moon so the closer it gets to the full moon the more people we bring on and I, I don't remember if he said it was three days before four days or two days but he it was for the full moon and at least the day before and he said oh yeah he goes we increase our staff because every time he goes statistically people start coming in and that's what the police officer said and that he, he said statistically he goes look at the numbers he goes they increase every single time he goes I've been on the police force for 10 years and because we all know, we even talk about it. Okay, so I'm back from my bike ride. And um, yeah, it was freaking hot. So it, went, it was hot. They said it was going to be 95. It ended up being 98 degrees today. Now, <laughs> I did a really... Now, I have a fixie bike. I'm sure I've showed you. So I have... It has one big gear in the front. And so I'm going up and down hills. There is one hill that you can't ride up. It's just too steep. At least with, with a one gear like that. So I overheated, to be honest with you. One thing I want you to notice. That's almost a 40 degree temperature change within 12 hours. It's one thing about the Bay Area, it will get really cold and then it will get really hot and then it'll get really cold. Okay, so I'll upload those videos probably in a day or two. So one thing I, I believe that this whole thing that this Beetlejuice planet or sun that's going to blow up, I have a feeling and I could be wrong about this, but <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to activate some of the people on the planet. And I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the link to both those videos. Um, the first one is the biggest solar flare. Yeah, sorry. Biggest solar flare of solar cycle 25 hits the bullseye. Or hits bullseye. Solar storms race towards Earth. Okay. The next video, which I think is really more important, is... I, I cannot pronounce this guy's name right i think it's mikio kaku uh beetlejuice will explode in two weeks we can't do anything and again beetlejuice is spelled b-e-t-e-l-g-e-u-s-e -E -E. so w one thing i want to wrap up is i have a couple of habits like watching the stars watching the moon another habit that i pair up with that is i ask questions i ask people doctors nurses police officers what's it like when it's like this what's it like when mercury's in retrograde have you noticed anything different you know so i really st the other thing is i i go out in society and i pay attention so another way i do is i really don't i don't look at astrology charts i don't, I don't i've never read an astrology book once Okay. I've looked at it maybe for my very own chart, but that's it. Like one time I did it. Other than that, I don't do that. I just like, wow, there's a really, really funny vibe going on. What's going on? So then I'll start Googling, is Mercury in retrograde? Is this going on with that? What's going on here? Is you know, Saturn in return? You know, all that, all that kind of stuff. So I started putting the pieces together. So it essentially just confirmed like I don't need to study astrology i don't need to study i don't know any of this stuff i don't even need, need to study the st statistics all my life i've had a feeling oh shit it's going to get a little hectic later on today or tomorrow and it and it would and i started noticing okay so what happened like why is this happening like well the sun has just been blasting out you know sunbursts or whatever you call them solar flares you know for two three days straight or that day it was really really intense so i started putting the pieces together was what i'm saying I'll give you another thing. Every day when I meet someone, I mean, every time I meet someone, every single day, I will ask them, where are you from? What part of the country? 
when were you born? What is your sign? And what is your this? Because I'm looking for patterns of energy. I've been doing this since I was a little, little kid. Another thing about me is I'm an extremely open-minded person. I just want to know what works and what doesn't. And I want to see it work. I want to know how it works, why it works. What is it about this that works and why is it that that over there is not working? And I don't stick with one, how do I say, it's like one, one side. So in other words, it's not like, okay, I went to college, I'm studying psychology for two or three years now, and that's it, I'm never going to leave this, I'm going to stay here, everything else is, is fake, only this is real, I don't do that. It's like, okay, well, let's go study hypnosis for the next 12 years, let's study NLP for 12 years, let's, let's go and study energy healing, now let's apply, 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 apply for the next decade, let's see what happens. I'm a very results oriented person. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to use it. Show me, prove it to me. So one of the things that you will learn in NLP hypnosis and even, and especially energy healing is belief. So sometimes in NLP, they're like, well, when you do this, you have to take on this belief. Okay. That's a very, very, uh, not popular, but very open spoken about. And it's very much taught during the trainings. Like, hey, here's some of the beliefs that you're going to have to take on in order for this stuff to work. Huh. Sounds like Jesus. Sounds like God. Sounds like the Bible. Sometimes you get these guys or people that are like, oh, I don't believe that. And I'll immediately say, wow, where did you get your doctorate degree in this? And I'll be like, well, I didn't. I go, oh, where'd you get your master's degree? Like, well, I didn't. I go, so where'd you, where'd you get your bachelor's? And they're like, well, I, I've never studied it. I'm like, oh, so a subject that you know nothing about, you have strong beliefs about. And you believe you're right, even though you know nothing about it. Got it. My approach is simple. Show me. Let's do it. Let's work it together. I, I approach things with an open mind. I see. I don't. And this really comes down to the left or right brain thinking. I don't go either, either psychology or it's hypnosis. It's either hypnosis or it's time. No, it's not either. It's all. I've studied all these separate arts and what's another word for that? Professions. And I wanted to see the patterns. And lo and behold, you start going, oh, wait a minute. This is why this psychologist gets results with his clients. Because he actually believes A, B, C, and D. And it's the same thing in NLP, same thing in hypnosis, same thing in energy healing, and the same thing with Jesus. Like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. There's a patterned way of doing things in order to get them to work. And you'll see similarities between professions and arts that actually work. You want to know what the biggest one is? I, I mean, literally, out of all of them. In fact, it, this is really my core belief. If you believe it works, it will. If you don't, it won't. So there's a couple of things in my life that really kind of blew me away. One of them was learning about the double blind test studies. Whenever they come out with a new medication, they have to do a double blind test study. If I'm saying that wrong, please forgive me. It has been a long time since I've been in a psychology class. And here's what they do. In order to prove that a medicine works, they have to give a fake one, which is called the placebo. In other words, it's not real. It doesn't have any medication in it. They either put sugar in it or some kind of powder, and that's it. So what happens, and they've actually done, done this with you know pills for cancer and for pretty much anything. So they will give the fake pill to 50% of the people, and then they'll give the real pill to 50% of the other people. And then they take you know results. They have them take it for 10 days or 10 weeks or 6 weeks or whatever it is. And then they check in once a week or twice a week and they, and they write down you know what's going on, how do you feel. And they, if they can, they can do a physical test of it, maybe take a, a sample of the tissue or whatever. And then they end up getting the results. Now here's the really, really weird thing. Some of the actual real medication... It heals some of the people, and I, you know, I don't know what the overall. It's different for every medication, 
But it's something like, I don't know, it'll heal 60% of the people, but it doesn't heal 40%. Or maybe it was 65 and 35. But whatever it is for each pill, it's kind of weird because it's like, well, why didn't it heal these people? Now, here's the weirder part. The fake placebo pill will heal 30, 40, 50% of the people. And that's what's got, that, that's what has doctors mystified. Now, combine that with Jesus saying, if you believe, you shall receive whatever you ask in prayer. And then the woman reached out and touched his tassel and she was healed of bleeding. I think she'd been bleeding for like 12 years or eight years or something. And instantly she was healed. And she said, I knew if I touched you, I would be healed. And Jesus says, by your faith, which means believing by your faith, you are healed. Jesus never once says, I healed you. He says, because you believed by your faith, he's constantly telling people, I am so honored for you to for you to give me this opportunity he says because you have such strong faith by your faith ye are healed and on and on and then i started noticing i had some real life experiences where i got physically healed by an energy healer i had a torn hamstring where i'd go to my chiropractor he had this massage machine and he would work on it before i would go to the gym and it was, it was like the size of a golf ball. I had torn it really, really bad years and years ago. And it had hurt for, oh God, I don't know, it was 8 years or 12 years. I heard it in high school. And I went to this energy healer because I, I was gonna I started studying pranic healing. And it worked. And I was like, holy shit. I thought, nah, maybe that's just kind of like, you know, placebo. Or maybe it'll come back tomorrow. Never did. I was stretching like crazy, doing sprints again. And so I went to my chiropractor and he did his typical routine. He did ABC and he, then he got the massage and he starts digging. He's like, oh, he went to the other leg, starts digging. He goes, oh, here's, hey, which leg is it? Which leg has the torn hamstring? And then I told him, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I went to an energy healer. We healed it. He goes, well, what do you mean you healed it? I go, oh, it's gone. So he started digging in with his, his uh, thumbs trying to find it. He goes, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm dead serious. Another thing I began to notice, I studied and have been certified in Reiki, Huna, and Pranic Healing. The really weird thing is this. They all use radically completely different techniques to do the same healings. And I thought, okay, that's weird. And yet, it worked. So then I started to realize it's not the techniques. It's working because you believe it's working. That's how you do energy healing, period. When you finally realize you created everything in your life, that's when you become powerful. Because that's when you start to realize it was your beliefs, the images, the things you imagined. And then they came true, good or bad. And when you start to see that pattern, that's when you go, wait a minute. I am creating all of this. That's when you begin to realize, so that means I can create whatever I want. Number one, you guys are awesome. Number two, you're a whole lot more powerful than you realize. Start to pray for what you want as if you already have it. All right, that's it, guys. God bless you guys. I know this was a different video, but I hope it helped you. I hope you learned something from it. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And again, if you want to donate, there's a PayPal link right there in the description box. Uh, please, if you like this video or any of my videos, please click subscribe. Click the like button. Go ahead and make a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.